Dr. V's involvement with the community began long before the start of Aravind. See, when I started the eye camps in 1961, the government wanted us to reach the villages. Mm -hmm. The leaders in the community also saw this one and they were uh, thrilled. And they said, we will come and help you also. So it became a sort of people's movement. In our early days, Gandhiji was all in all for us. His simple life, his truthfulness, and he said spiritual life, progress can be made in the life, not going to a monastery or going to ashram. During his years of government service, Dr. V met Sir John Wilson, a blind man of great vision and founder of the Royal Commonwealth Society for the Blind. In my life, I think he did a lot of work to mentor me. Lots of times I felt I was not coming up to his expectations. Being brought up in a colonial country, you are all the time looked down upon. He used to pull me up constantly, come and we will go and see the Prime Minister or we will go and see this uh, WHO meeting, something like that. He used to call me up. Uh, he will take me, he will say, I will show you around. <laughs> Blind man, so he decided not to. With his help, a center was set up that drastically reduced childhood blindness due to nutritional deficiencies. The two men also launched a nationwide eye camp program that took hundreds of mobile medical units right to the doorstep of the blind. Paper, pencil, slate, nothing like that. So the only way children could be taught learning was to collect sand and spread it on the floor. The fingers we used to write. One of the things the village children have to do is every house got a buffalo and a pair of bullocks for farming and all those things. The boy was asked to take the buffalo for grazing out. So I used to do it early morning, half past five o'clock or five o'clock in the morning. Mother used to wake me up and get up, go and take the buffalo hungry. I used to sit with the ordinary village man because I am from a village. And suddenly he turned around and then you see he seemed to contact his inner being. You seem to be one with him. But here is a soul which has got all the Simplicity of confidence. Doctor, whatever you say, I accept it. An implicit faith in you. And then you respond it. Here is an old lady who has got so much faith in me. I must do my best for her. Now, how am I going to train myself to do perfection? Sri Aurobindo and the mother were two key spiritual figures of the 20th century. Dr. V was introduced to their teachings in Pondicherry. They say there's a lot of energy and in the higher levels of consciousness. See, that consciousness sees the truth as such. Mind doesn't see the truth. And it can organize things in a better way than what the mind can do. What he calls divine life on earth. Even after joining the eye hospital, walking a few steps was difficult, painful. Holding a pen was difficult and holding surgery was a little difficult. It took some years for me to pick up surgery. Dr. V went on to personally perform more than 100,000 successful eye surgeries. Mm -hmm. 